Welcome to the Make Movies Great Again Movie Club. This week we're talking about Jim and Andy, the great beyond. With a... With a contractually obligated yes. mention, mention uh, of... Shit, what is uh, his name? Tony Clifton. Tony Clifton. Tony Clifton. Uh, I do feel like we had to say that. The whole, the whole thing. Like, you kind of feel yeah. like you had to say that. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. Especially oh, now. yeah, that was... That, the documentary was just a, as much about Tony as it was uh, <laughs> oh, Jim yeah. and Andy. I let let's just jump right into it. How fucking awesome was it when the, when they did the rap party with Tony Clifton? The rap party uh, they did like the, oh, they rapped yeah, and yeah. he came out as Tony, Tony Clifton like and did the rap. Oh my god! And like you could tell, like Jim Carrey was getting oh, emo- yeah. like actual Jim Carrey was getting emotional like yep. as Tony Clifton. But oh, that was so fucking cool. Um, this whole thing, I really, I really kind of understand now where Jim Carrey was coming from, like. All his like the where he was talking about his movies coming up and like when he chose a role, it like kind of mirrored what was going on in his life. Yeah, like the Truman Show because he was like in the spotlight and that's yeah. what he felt like and all these you know what I mean all these other things. Um, he's a weird guy. It was he really is a weird fun guy. to listen to him like just kind of blabber. Yeah, for me it trailed a little bit. Like I was like. All right, you know. See, I didn't, I didn't feel like that. I thought that he was just going to go left field, and I wasn't going to understand like yeah. what he was talking about. But for the most part, I kind of stuck with him. I was yeah. like, I get, kind of get what you're saying. Yeah. I understand. Like, I mean, he did get a little like you know out there at some points, but I kind of still like stuck with him and under, kind of under, trying to understand like as an artist and like him, oh, sure, him making no. his art and like whatever. Um, I thought it was fascinating how he he was on the beach when they told him he was going to get the part of yeah. Andy Kaufman. Yeah. And like that's when Andy came to him. Yeah, and like came to him. Kind of like, took became, over. Yeah, I thought that was cool. And like it was. I mean, he. It's, it's pretty believable that he felt as though he was three people. Yeah. Between Tony and. In Andy. Yeah, Andy and and Jim. Jesus. And just Tony Clifton was hilarious. Yeah, hilarious. And the fact that Andy and whatever the hell his friend's name was used to switch them in and Bobby. out. Bobby. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That they would just not show up, and they and then they did it. To the uh, the Playboy, Playboy Mansion, Playboy Mansion. Playboy Mansion. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome. That was that was a great part. That's um, so funny. I thought it was I thought it was crazy how like you could like you could see how invested Jim Carrey was in this role. It was it was it was cool to see all that behind the scenes footage. And at one point, uh, Jim Carrey had said that the movie was. Ha- happening behind the camera yeah yeah, yeah he said totally, he, he wished totally he could, got that yeah i could like splice it in together yeah and the way jim carrey could physically impression uh, impersonate somebody physically yeah it's one thing to yeah. sound like him yeah it's a whole other thing to just like when he came out as like the half makeup tony clifton yeah he just looks like yeah like not i mean obviously the prosthetic was there but like yeah, yeah, he his, has the his posture. Head da- his head down and forward, and just his his physical, his, the physical acting that Jim Carrey does, does is second to none. Second to none. Yeah. In it fact, really you is. sent that gift or gift to Jeff, Jeff, whatever the fuck it is, uh, today, Adam, to the group chat. Oh, yep. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. man, the last two gifs yeah. that made me laugh were uh, Jim Carrey. Wait, it was wait. that one and the one that I sent a couple weeks ago. Where new, I don't know. He did. It's like from Liar Liar. And then this one is from oh, yeah. But, like, his facial expressions are just unbelievable. Yeah. The way yeah. he acts is unbelievable. Yeah. I thought it was cool. You all – not only did we get a documentary about the making of this movie and, like, Jim Carrey's, like, a lot of, you know, inner struggle and whatnot, but you also got a little bit of Jim's backstory, which I had never – Yeah. I didn't know. I yeah. didn't know. I knew, I knew he, he was wrote from that Canada. Check. I knew he was from right. Canada wrote the check. Yeah, and that was it. But yeah. I didn't know anything about his dad. I yeah. didn't know anything about his mom, his – his brothers and sisters, or you know, his family, his siblings—I forget what yeah. he has for siblings, but um, yeah, I mean, just a lot of information that didn't have. Like one of my favorite actors, yeah. I really like—I like Jim Carrey. Um, How much did you guys eat up the Lawler stuff? I fucking oh, I loved, loved it. it. That was I hilarious. Loved it. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I was di- Molly and I were dying laughing. Like, he's like busting Lawler's balls, and yeah. like Lawler can't take it. <laughs> Yeah, Lawler didn't know what to do. Yeah, well, and that was kind of interesting because Lawler came out and said, "Like that's not what Andy was like at all." Yeah, which yeah. is like you yeah. know. So Jim was, you know, taking it to the. Well, yeah. he was. He was. What did he say? Taking, taken, taken, taken over, or I don't know. Like Andy was there. Yeah, he felt like Andy was there. He yeah. was like the Andy, the performer. Yeah. So like it yeah. really showed you that like Jim didn't you know obviously didn't know Andy. Yeah. And just took what he did on stage. 
and with Lawler yeah. and like made it like the personal yeah. life, which I kind of thought they were going to talk more about. Like I thought the family would be like, eh, yeah. It's not really like what he was like behind the yeah. scenes, but you know. his girlfriend seemed to think the girlfriend who was actually doing the documentary, the, yeah, the behind the scenes, yeah, she yeah. she seemed to think he was doing. And uh, a few people on set thought that he was just, you know, absolutely. Um, I think that uh, Dane DeVito was a little fed up. Yeah, I Dane think so. DeVito wanted nothing to do with it. But and Giamatti like dove in eventually or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the Giamatti. Yeah, probably. and the the poor director man, the guy who did directed <laughs> One Flew All the Cuckoo Nest, just he like wanted to like do one more. It's like it's okay, Tony. That was perfect. I've, I, like, I it yeah. couldn't have done it any better. But could you just do it this <laughs> way for me? For okay. me? Okay. 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 I do one more. Okay. Yeah, that was funny. He had, he had to pander to three different people. Yeah. And then that when you know, he's on the phone, he's like, yeah. is, "Is Jim around? Is Jim around?" Yeah, he's like, yeah. "Oh, I can get Jim. You know, whatever." It's like, do, "Do you want me to like fire Andy? You can just have Jim." And he like pauses. He goes. No, I guess I just wanted to talk to Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like so defeated. Yeah. So defeated. Even uh, even when even when he's doing that in the, the interview, when he's doing the impression of the director, he's yeah. like yep. you know what I mean, he becomes a different person. He physically yeah. becomes a director, yeah. not even just the voice. Yeah. Like, um that it was it was it really was fascinating and Jim Carrey was awesome. But I loved the I loved that he was spitting on Jerry Lawler and Oh Jerry, man. And when Jerry Lawler like hit him at the end, like in that scene where he was on the But then he the faked, Letterman he show. faked the yeah, 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 yeah. He told him to hit him. Yeah, and then he gets on the stretcher and he has the neck. Well that was after the stretcher. Yeah, 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 but yeah. like he like tells him or he like does that and he like fakes the injury, goes to the hospital, gets yeah. an MRI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. He was he, he was watching the news yeah, blow up in like, his yeah. hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, the, back to the Lawler thing, like it was interesting that he like he didn't go fur- further with Lawler to the point where it was even more like their relationship. You know what I mean? Like he was always in the character that everyone saw when it was him versus Lawler. But I, I would have, you know, what I mean, just because of how he carried himself with everyone else in the movie, I would have thought that, you know, in front of people, he would have acted like that in front of Lawler. But it was when it was just the two of them, you know what I mean? It would have been like kind they of cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But he just kept it going. Well, I think also he was, he, I think he was not acting, but I think that Andy and Tony Clifton had to always be Andy and Tony Clifton because of the the documentary behind the scenes. I think that, yeah. I think that Jim Carrey knew that. He's yeah. like, I have to be I, not only do I have to be in character at all times, yeah. but I'm constantly performing. I had to constantly be performing these characters. Yeah. Um so I think that was a lot of it too. I thought it was very interesting to hear him talk about um like when Tony Clifton was talking about Jim. So like, yeah, you see Jim, he smiles too much. It's not it's not it can't be real. Like that's It's well, like kind of Yeah. It's like that's he was probably taking a lot of his like his inner um what he doesn't like about himself. Yeah. Have you ever heard that. that theory, like, you can be as depressed as you can get happy? Like, people who are usually never that happy, like, really don't get that depressed. It's like yeah. above and below a line. Right, right, right. And the, but then when you see people who get, like, super... Excited. Excited, yeah, happy, yeah. like... They can also they can, swing they can the other go way. down that far, yeah, yeah. Which is interesting when you talk about the likes of, like, Robin Williams. Right, right. Which, who can be super exuberant and bounce yeah. a lot. And, yep. So, not to take this the wrong way. No, but, no. Um... But I thought it was I, – I had no idea that – like I – it just never registered to me that uh, Ace Ventura, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber all came out in the same year. That's crazy. 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 I, couldn't, I year. couldn't believe that. Yeah. That's, that's wild. wild. That is wild. That filming schedule must have been crazy yeah. for him. Yeah. When you think about that, like, yeah, Jim Carrey was the biggest star in the world in the early 90s. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yep. He was um, on He was on fire. For a while, like you put you put his comedy resume up against anybody. You oh. can put it up against, especially guys that you know we grew up with, like uh, Ben Stiller and Sandler. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those are the first two that come to mind. But yeah. you know he goes he goes up against those two, and in a lot of cases, I think he even surpasses it. Yeah, uh, I think Jim Carrey fucking cracks me up. Yeah, yeah, it's the way he does. We things. we watched another documentary that was done in this style earlier. In our movie club career, the uh, the one about becoming Bond, yeah, becoming Bond. Yep. It was the one camera 
the subject looking straight into the camera and answering questions. Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah. I, I thought I love that version of documentaries. I wish I could sort documentaries on Netflix by ones that are done like this. Yeah. I think it's really good. One person yeah. straight into the What's camera. What's it called? It, it's it's, called something, it's right? named after the documentarian that did it first. Like, I see. They project the person yeah, who's he's interviewing in a you. Room. Yeah, he's yeah. in a different room. He's projecting it over the camera. So it's like you're talking to a TV screen, but the camera's really filming you. So it's really cool to get a like kind of like a really like honest look at you know instead of looking offside to the camera you, 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 like, get, you do get a different feel you get a different feel and I thought that's cool and like it makes it natural for the person the subject sitting there yep. Um, yep which also makes it better for the audience so I I liked that was one of the aspects of the actual like the documentary that I enjoyed um, I liked that a lot uh, but anyway let's go around the room thumb thumbs up thumbs down thumbs medium for me it's a thumbs up. What do you got, Adam? Uh, for me, I'm a thumb is medium, uh, leaning towards up. Um, I guess I just don't know. I just don't know a whole lot about Andy Kaufman. Right. I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed, you know, seeing Jim Carrey and his evolution to this evolution into being Andy Kaufman. I just wish I knew more about him. Yeah, um, but I agree. No, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? I'm glad I watched it. I hear yeah. you. It would have been better to know more about Andy Kaufman, but like, I feel like. This was this was so much about Jim, mm-hmm. you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah. But if I knew more about Andy Kaufman, it'd been probably even better. So, I hear you. I hear you. I liked it. Thumbs up. Thumbs Sorry. up. Um, I thought I'd said that. Sorry, but I liked it. I like doing documentaries. Yeah, me too. Uh, uh real quick, hatefully, did a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys see that like trivia that came out about it? No. Uh, no. When Kurt Russell breaks the. Oh yeah. We, guitar? Did we talk about did that? Did we talk about yeah, that? Yeah, we talked about oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then maybe that's where I heard it or I it saw was, it again. Uh, but they, some, this, I hadn't seen it in a while. And then somebody to- talked about that and showed the clip. And her reaction was is hilarious. Genuine, like, yeah. And kind of a little bit out of character. Oh, definitely. She breaks character. Yeah, she's like, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, that was pretty funny. Anyways, I just saw it on here again. Yeah. Uh, but 28 movie clubs down. Damn. So need to go. next week's... Next week's movie club is Mudbound. It's a Netflix original. Again, this is our third Netflix original in a row. If you want to call in about this or that or Mudbound for next week, 401-285-8120. Leave a voicemail. We'll play it on the show. Or hit us up on Twitter at Make Movies Great and tell us what you think about this one, previous ones, the upcoming Mudbound episode. I'm just throwing my pen at my face. Uh, <laughs> anything you want, and, and we'll talk to you back, and we'll, pl- we'll read it on the show or we'll play it on the show. You guys have anything you want to add? Good to go. That's going to be it for this week for the Make Movies Great Again Movie Club. We will talk to you next week. Go watch some movies.